guys. We're here at Country Hills uh, this beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, hole number two, a little par three, playing either 155 or 178. Looks like it's gonna be playing 178 today. Uh, started off the hole, started off hole number one with a bogey. Uh, just kind of hit it fat, laid up short, and two putted, so. So you got about 178 to the middle, downhill par three. I'm gonna go with five iron here. about pin high, just a little right. So, just a little right, so we'll see if we can get this up and down for par. So on that one, just a chip shot, caught it a little fat, it was in a little bit of a pond, so laid it up short, took a bogey there, but not a bad bogey from where I was. Just need a better iron shot to get on the green. So one of the things that, uh, I haven't played this course in about a year or so, but one of the things I do remember is, is it's an extremely tight course. Um, it's not very long, only 6,200, but the landing areas are really small if you can't see. Right here, hole number two, you gotta go. Landed about at the 150, and then the, the hole's back up here to the left. Um, so yeah, accuracy off the tee is huge uh, at this course. Eight foot putt there to save par. Got lucky with that one, but uh, it's a tough hole, tight hole. So we got another par five here, or we got a par five here. Um, downhill, greens up on the right side.
30 foot for eagle, three putt. Kind of sucks, but it was a tough, I wasn't on the right ridge, so it was a tough putt. Um, getting out of here though with the par is always good on this course, so. Didn't take advantage of the tee shot. Downhill putt. And I just roasted it by. Uh, just gotta make sure if I'm above the hole to just tap it. Just getting used to these greens. Straight uphill, blind. I think I'm pretty sure it's a blind second shot too. You can see. out of that one so I'll have to go find it I had the right distance just with the ball below my feet it came out a little to the left so uh, looks like I got about 15 feet for par, maybe I'd say. Took a double on that one. Uh, the ball landed, I guess, on the cart path and kicked backwards. Uh, so I was up above the hill and I just couldn't. Landed it on a down slope and it just kicked forward. Um, so we got a par four coming here, short par four, 350. Um, but again, another little Tight, tight par four. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna hit here, to be honest. I'm thinking four iron for just position, because I haven't been able to put the driver in play. But I don't know if that's gonna give me enough, uh, I don't know if that's gonna give me enough distance in, I'll be hitting a higher club, but won't be OB, so see what uh, four iron does here. Got about 183 left here. See the pin back there. I'm gonna go five iron. If 
Hopefully it drizzled out of there. Took it up, kind of turned it over a little bit more than I wanted to. Went up into the trees. It was a great shot though. It was a great shot, but it just started off. Start line started a little more right. And I didn't have the line, didn't have the room or the height to take it over the trees. excited about that uh, yeah, just had a good chip from up there and then um, hole number nine uh, about 400 yards uh, another another blind tee shot here uh, with the pin it's kind of back down there to the left you just want to land it out there Definitely gonna take driver. It looks like it's a little more open, and if you go right, like left is dead, but if you go right, uh, it does open up, so. So, uh, back to the, on the back nine, shot a 42 on the front. Uh, pretty proud of that. A lot of higher irons that I have to hit. A lot more shot uh, placement. Definitely a tougher course here. 